All right, let's go. Our first story. You know, it's a holiday time again in the Islamic world as Muslims mark the end of the month-long fasting of Ramadan. Now, President-elect Ashwaju Bolad Tinubu felicitates with Nigerians on the occasion of Eid al-Fitri. Uh, Tinubu thanks Almighty Allah for the grace to witness this year's Eid and urged Nigerians to seek to become better versions of themselves through patriotism, dedication to duty, and uh, empathy. He said, let me quote him, we are at the dawn of a renewed hope for a better, greater, and more prosperous Nigeria. We wish him a last speed. Jide. It's, um, it's, uh, it's the sort of thing that Nigerians uh, want to hear at a time like this. And people are going through a lot, and um, we can't resign to fit. Mm. We just um, have to continue offering ourselves hope, offering our countrymen and women hope. And that's what the president elect has done. He said, and um, he, he said, we are the dawn of a renewed hope for a better, greater, and more prosperous Nigeria. Nigeria. And I stand ready to work with all Nigerians, young, old, male, and female, you know. So we have found that his commitment to service is uh, one that he takes seriously. I think that given what Nigerians have seen, given um, the, his record in Lagos, many Nigerians are hopeful that we'll be able to deliver the change that Nigerians want, that will move Nigeria um, to the next level. Yeah. Because the signs are not good enough, but we cannot give up. We just have to continue to hope that the next set of leaders would take leadership seriously, address the biggest problems facing our country, insecurity, um, the economy, you know, and uh, the war against corruption. Mm. We have seen clearly that corruption is not uh, receding in our country. Corruption is a very big problem. We have to defeat it. And um, the next administration has to do things uh, differently. But the economy, in my view, as well as security, are the two biggest problems that we face. Because if we spent 86% of our receipts, our revenue, for the year 2022, according to the World Bank, to service debt, it shows that we are in trouble. And we have to work hard, earn more money, you know, for our country, um, create opportunities for sustained investment in our country, because even foreign port portfolio investments are tapering down. Mm. When people can see that the government of the day is serious and prepared to make real economic change happen, those investments will come and Nigeria will earn more money. You can imagine, yeah. you can imagine the coming of MTN, for example. MTN accounts for about 3% of our GDP. And he's been paying his taxes. We are earning so much through the activities of the telcos, especially the MTN that is the market leader. So we need more of such foreign investment to come into our country. Because it's possible. Of course it's possible. Yeah. It's yeah. possible. If the UAE leaders didn't tell themselves that it was possible to overtake Lebanon, they won't be where they are today. Yeah. In those days, Lebanon was the place to go. Well, when I, I was I growing up. It, it was the most beautiful city on the planet. Everyone was going to Lebanon. Yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 the leaders of UAE, of Qatar, and the rest of them, they were going to Lebanon to spend their money. Yeah. And then they told themselves, that, look, we, what we go to Le Lebanon to spend money on, we can actually make our own country better. Mm -hmm. And then... 
People can come into our country and then we won't the, have to go and waste all that money or spend all that money. The World Cup was a big, big statement. Everyone thought, oh, with that weather, <laughs> 40 degrees. Ah, who will come and who will go to this place? But today, mm. they made that point and the world was glued. Yeah. People were glued to their TV sets. In fact, the, the, in, in terms of the, the viewership of the World Cup, yeah. it was a mighty statement. It, it was. Now, it was. everybody's talking about um, Emirates, Emirates, the airline. Yeah. Emirates once, Nigerian Airways once donated airplanes to Emirates. <laughs> Can you beat that? <sighs> Nigeria, we once donated airplanes. Nigeria Airways donated. Today, mm. When you are talking about the five biggest airlines in the world, Emirate occupies a oh, yeah. prominent place. Yeah, if yeah. a new airplane, if Boeing or Airbus comes up with a new airplane today, Emirates, Emirates will be will among acquire. the first to say, okay, That's give it. us 25 uh, units. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> is this possible? When you look back to where they used to be, yeah, yeah, it's good leadership can take you so far. Are you telling me? In seconds. T Tony, you know, we are waiting to return to the skies, mm -hmm. as Jidia said. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been absent from the, the skies Long for time. moons and moons. So a new leadership uh, will bring a new impetus mm -hmm. and because the, the window of, of opportunity will, will be there. Definitely. Definitely. That's, why, <clears throat> that's why it's encouraged. That every four four years, mm. we have a new leadership, because it gets to a time, and um, if the tenure is elongated, the leadership stops seeing those anomalies, mm. stops seeing development. When at, at renewal, new things comes, and then the person we're talking about here now is is a different stock entirely. You know, coming from. Mm. Being in Lagos, we know being in a Lagos governor for a, yeah. a period of time, he sets a lot of things in action. Things changed during his tenure, and then he's had a helm of affair right now. Quite a lot to change. I'm, I'm, I'm very sure of that. He is uh, collected a team to help. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so mm. and then you look at the people you know inaugurated. It, tell, it gives you an idea of what where he's going mm. with, with his administration. Mm. I see changes. In a couple of months, I see changes from from June. T Tony has Things, no choice. He has no, no, it's not, it's not about him having a choice. We've, had, we've seen leaders in this country, he doesn't take, I mean, once they're elected, you don't, you can't question them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're believing that based on his past record, the things would definitely yeah. be different. It's obvious. Things would be different. I, I've said it many times that it's not like the present. I've made my position clear. I've said it many in different fora. That it's not like the present administration, the head of the present administration. Yeah. It's a different kind of person. He has his mind on what to do. And when, it's, when he positions his mind on it, nobody can change it. Yeah. it was, because he has done it before. So I'm not basing it on mere speculation. He has done it before. And we've seen what Lagos has become over time. Okay. And just imagine him at the national level. Nigeria will make progress. Mm. Nigeria, and then the message at, uh, message, uh, the message, um, at Ramadan, you know, Nigerian, Nigerians, this message at Ramadan, Nigeria needs that peace. And I pray that when he assumes assume office, when he takes over for the president's administration, that he'll be able to sustain that peace that Nigerians currently enjoy. Though we have had issues from the past election yeah. and it's yeah. still brewing. I pray that we have a successful, successful transition, and then after that, we'll be able to maintain it. You know, Nigeria needs that peace. If we follow what's going, going on in Sudan at the moment, we need to live together mm. as children of the same parents in peace and harmony. Mm. We cannot afford to rock the system. Yeah. Otherwise, we're doomed. Gidi, as the, ex, the big man said, falling is not a crime, but getting up each time you fall. Yes, uh, um, falling is not... A strange thing. Mm. Um, as you um, move on in life, there are times when you fall. But you must be ready to get up every time you fall, dust yourself up, and tell yourself that, look, this fall that I recorded is only 
the impetus that I need to record even Propelling. greater success. Yeah. You know, so uh, one should not be uh, afraid of uh, taking risk. And when you take risk, you know that you either succeed or you fail. Yeah. So okay. you should not be afraid of taking risk. And when you succeed, mm -hmm. the whole world will see clearly that, yes, this person knows what he's doing. He took the right step. I mean, because the success would underline the fact that it was the right step that you took. Mm. But to be afraid of taking big decisions, many leaders are usually afraid of taking big decisions. They don't want to take those things because they want to be in the good books of the majority. Yeah, but absolutely. the majority is not always right. Mm. I, in, in my experience in life, I've seen situations when everyone turned against me. They said, ah, this is wrong. You don't know what you are doing. And then in so, the final sometimes analysis... Sometimes you think you are standing alone. Yes. On, in the final analysis, the same people who felt that I took this uh, bad decision, in the fullness of time, they will see that it was a good decision yeah. that I took. Mm. And they would, they, would, they would then thank me for it. So leaders have to decide what is best for the people. We don't need leaders who simply would want to make the people happy. No, it's just, it's not enough mm. to make the people happy. You must take decisions in the best interest of the people. Of the people and the yeah. people may not necessarily know in the beginning that the decision that you have taken is in their best interest. So as it is, requires a lot but, of patience. Yes, so time will, yeah. time will bear you out. Time will show to everyone that it was the best decision. We've seen, we've seen uh, someone overthrow his dad in Asia. He, mm. he, he, he chased his dad away because, in fact, his dad was not uh, moving the nation in the right direction. And he came in, and um, the rest is history. So these things happen. Great leaders are leaders unafraid to take the yeah. big, mm -hmm. difficult mm -hmm. decisions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But time will tell. Time will um, show in the, uh, finally that, yes, it was the right decision for our people. Okay. And even uh, those who uh, abused you will then come back to say, we are sorry. At the time we, we yeah. criticized you, we didn't know that you had the third eye. You saw what we didn't see.